I've been wanting to make a vacuum hold down table for the CNC machine. So this is my attempt at doing that. <laughs> if there's any ideas anyone has as far as how to make this better, I would, I would love to hear them. It's basically going to be a torsion box with a hole in it and a way for the air to get through the, the struts that run within the box. So I cut a bunch of circles out of those struts to let the air that's being sucked out by the vacuum flow through the box. And I can cut the sides, which will be the same height as the struts. And there'll be one hole in one of the sides where the vacuum hose will attach. Then I can make the bottom piece. Now I went kind of back and forth on what materials to use for this. I was going to make everything out of particle board, but I ended up using plywood for the struts and MDF for the top. So the bottom and the sides are particle board. It's a little bit scatterbrained. <laughs> I was basically making this up as I went along. One of the ideas that I started with was that instead of building a a vacuum table that covered the entire CNC bed, I could make a smaller portable version that would let me experiment with it and see if I could get this to work. And it would be something that I could use when I need it, but I could move it out of the way when I don't need it. So I made a roughly 30 by 40 inch table. Now in the bottom, I cut dados into the surface and these would hold the struts and the sides in the right place. And I also registered where this bottom was and where my zero zero was on the CNC because I'll need to come back and drill all the holes to the top and I don't want those to hit where the struts are. Now I cut the sides off the bottom so that the dados would be in the same place. And I reset up the fence on the table saw to the width of the struts. Now I wanted the, the struts and the sides to all be exactly the same height. So I went and re-trimmed the struts and the sides at once with the, with the fence in the same place so that they would all be as close to the same height as I could get them. Then I cut the ends off the sides to get them to the right length. And I got the struts cut. And I ended up cutting the struts just a little bit too short. But it didn't really matter because that, that difference is in the bottom of the dados. Then I could glue everything together. I glued one side on. And then I glued the struts in place. It took some, some pre-planning because I couldn't, I couldn't do all the glue at once. I sort of had to do it in parts. So I did a side and then I did the struts and I would make sure the struts were all the way down into the, into the dados. And once I had those on, I could do the other side. And what I was making sure of at this point was to make sure the tops of everything were, were flush so that when the top went on, it would go on without any air gaps between the, the sides and the top. So I cut a piece of MDF to make the top and I left it just a little bit big, and then I would go back and trim it with a, with a flush trimming bit once it was glued on. Now, I wondered about cutting dados into the top and trying to fit that into all the struts and the sides, but I ended up not doing that and just gluing the top straight on to the, to the struts and the sides. And I thought I'd use the vacuum to hold the top down, but it seemed like it was pulling the glue all the way through and I didn't want to get air gaps in it. So I ended up just weighting it down with some, with some motors. <laughs> then something I didn't realize was going to take so long was drilling all the holes in the top. So what these holes will do as the, as the vacuums created in the box, these will pull the workpiece down to the surface and that's what makes it a hold down table. So it took about two hours to drill all these holes. They're three eighths of an inch in diameter and one inch on center. So I was basically making pegboard. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And once that was done, I could flush trim the top. And this really isn't critical for function. It mostly just makes it look nice. And I got all the way around and it was going just fine. And I forgot that the hole was in the side that I couldn't see. And I ran the router into it and made a little gouge in the top, but it still works fine. Now what I'm gonna do is glue a second piece of MDF on, and this'll be sort of the scrap top or the, or the waste board. And what this will let me do is as the top gets cut up through using it, I can skim off a layer every so often to, to re-flatten the top. And then when, once this gets completely taken away through use, I can glue on another piece. And I had to go through and drill all the holes again. <laughs> now I had two ideas for the top. One was that I wanted to make some pegs that I could put in the holes and that would allow me to, to register parts on the top so that I could find what was square with the router really quickly. They, they'd be sort of registration points. And since my holes weren't a perfect standard size, I ended up having to make a bunch of the little pegs. <laughs> now the other idea that I had is that I had realized that this only works if you cover up all the holes. You can't just have your workpiece floating in the middle with all the holes that it's not covering open, because then the vacuum just goes through the holes that are open. So what I thought I'd make is a bunch of modular pieces that would work as sort of dams for the holes so that if I have a, a workpiece that's smaller than the top, I can use these pieces to sort of fill in around the, the smaller piece. But what I came up with was to take the peg idea and put the pegs into these flat pieces so that when I, when I put the flat piece on, it'll be nice and square to the router and I can make a, a quick jig as I'm setting up a piece really quickly because the, the pins will just hold the pieces of wood square to the, to the router. So I put some pins in those boards. And for now, I'm just putting them in the long pieces that run the width of the table. But I may do this with the side pieces as well. So I can set up those pieces if I have a smaller piece like this. And I made some side pieces. And it seems to work pretty well. I did a quick test. <laughs> Thanks for watching.